If you're looking for a fish that has all the charm of an aquatic creature, but has the vivacious and playful personality of a puppy, then the flower horn is the fish for you. It is also the perfect fish for anyone wanting to keep just the single fish that is eye-catching enough to create an aquarium that will attract a lot of attention. Then keep a flower horn and you'll be all set. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I will be taking a look at the majestic looking flower horn fish. Before I continue, can you do me a favor and tap that like button? And don't forget to subscribe and ding that notification bell. Okay, let's get to it. Natural Habitat the flower horn, being an artificially created fish, doesn't have any natural habitat. The next best thing would be to look at the natural habitat of the larger South African cichlids, as the flower horn is essentially a mix of those fish. They generally inhabit warm waters with varying levels of vegetation. Some of these fish have been released into the wild around the world, where they have become an invasive species. However, as they are mostly infertile, they do not present the same level of threat as other invasive species. Physical Description While fish are generally seen as dainty and somewhat delicate, the flower horn is the exact opposite of that. They are substantial fish with a stocky build. However, they are very beautiful as well. Their anal and dorsal fins are long and flowy, but their defining feature is the bulge on their head. The flower horn does come in a few varieties, and this bulge can vary from a small bump to a full-blown bulb. They also come in a wide range of colors from stunning reds to fluorescent blues and metallic hues. They also show plenty of variances in size. The King Kompfa variety can grow to be 16 inches, while short body varieties can be half that size. Ideal Tank Setup the most important aspect of successfully keeping a flower horn is the tank size. While the smaller varieties can be housed in a 75-gallon tank, the regular-sized flower horns will need at least a 125-gallon tank for a single specimen and a 175-gallon tank for a pair. As far as tank decor and substrate is concerned, going completely bare is the way to go. Substrates are a strict no for these fish as they can swallow it, which can lead to serious health issues. A bare bottom tank or one lined with flat tiles is the best option. Having any decor can be distracting for these fish and they will interact less with their owners, which is why they should be kept in a tank that is pretty much empty. Water Parameters As alluded to earlier, there is no natural habitat for this fish that can provide any sort of guidance to determine the ideal water parameters. However, their long history in the hobby has helped identify a set of water parameters that work for most flower horns. The pH should be between 6.0 and 8.0, while the temperature should be maintained between 80 degrees Fahrenheit and 85 degrees Fahrenheit, or 26.5 degrees Celsius and 29.5 degrees Celsius. Hardness should be between 6 degrees and 20 degrees DGH. It's also a good idea to find out the water parameters the fish has been kept in while producing it. Diet the flower horn is not at all a finicky eater. It will readily accept most commercially available fish food. They will happily munch on pellets, flakes, frozen food, and live food. Provide them with high-quality pellets with the occasional live or frozen food as a treat. Like most hybrid fish, flower horns also have the propensity to overeat, which can lead to a host of health issues. Feed them small quantities three times a day and remove any food that is uneaten after about 40 seconds to a minute. Behavior and Tank Mates While the flower horn can appear jovial to a human, they are highly territorial, temperamental, and aggressive in nature. The best option is to keep them all by themselves. This will also make them more interactive with their owners. If you really must keep other fish, then choose large and equally aggressive fish. However, this will greatly increase the tank size requirements, and even then, there can be tricky situations and violent standoffs. Breeding Breeding flower horns is definitely a challenging task in the home aquarium. To begin with, most flower horns are sterile by birth. If you're fortunate enough to get a fertile male and female, the next challenge arises in getting them to live in the same tank without trying to kill each other. A successful strategy is for the tank to be divided into two parts using a clear divider through which water can pass from one side to the other. This will allow hormones to pass through. Raise the temperature by a degree or two and feed them protein-rich food. After a few days, remove the barrier and observe closely for any aggression. If everything somehow works out, the fish will breed and the adults should be removed as soon as the eggs are laid. 
The eggs and the fry should not be moved for the first month and they can be fed fry food until they can fend for themselves. Diseases The common diseases that can affect flower horns include white spot disease, fin and tail rot, bloat, air bladder disease, parasites, hole in the head, and digestive problems. Almost all these issues can be avoided by keeping the water parameters as steady as possible within the ideal range while doing regular water changes. The short body varieties will eventually develop digestive problems because of their anatomy, but as long as they are well cared for, most flower horns can live for more than a decade. To sum it up, flower horns can be best described as the aquatic version of a puppy. They are playful, intelligent, and one of the very few fish that can identify their owner and interact with them in a manner that goes beyond just the feeding frenzy that most fish exhibit. They are majestic and regal, and if you want just one fish to rule over them all, then the flower horn is it. Have you ever had a flower horn in your tank? Would you consider getting one? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.